And I don't even want to be in a space where I'm flirting with the line. Not that I wanted to flirt with the line before, but this year I want to be more conscious about not flirting with the line at all. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Myra Kay. If you're not new here, then welcome back. I have not sat down to talk on my channel in a really long time and I don't know why. I know that vlogging on my channel has really become my thing and it's become a lot more easier and fun for me, but I really feel as though I have to just speak up more and share more and just really open up. And I think in 2024, that looks like starting with this video at least. I've really, really been praying and you know, seeking the Lord and asking him to help me get back on my feet as a content creator and to really love what I do again and to help me figure out what that looks like and how to go about things his way as opposed to my way. Not that I ever wanted to do things my way, my way only, um, but I think sometimes when you get so wrapped up in all of the things that come with creating content, it's very easy to lose sight of how exactly God wants things to be done. It's important to keep note of that, seeing as this is his platform, not mine. This past Sunday during church, I was really just praying and almost rededicating and surrendering every bit of, you know, what I do, who I am, my platform, all things back to God. So with that being said, I officially rededicated my modesty journey back to the Lord. And that's not to say that that aspect of my walk wasn't already dedicated to God, but like I said, when you get wrapped up, it's easy to lose sight of exactly how God wants things to be done. Now I'm in a place where I'm like, okay, if I'm gonna go about being this fashion content creator, if I'm gonna keep creating these videos and sharing things with my platform, I really have to be intentional and smart and mindful of everything that I'm doing and be a little bit more careful. I know I'm not perfect. None of us have any of this all figured out. And I know that I've come a very long way from before I came to Christ to now. And I wouldn't say that I've done a terrible job because for the most part, my outfits have been very modest, but I really had to check my heart posture and just recalibrate, you know, just dial back and just, just, just recenter my heart on Christ instead of desperately trying to figure out my next outfit or slipping up and wearing something that might be too short or too this because of XYZ and then making excuses and you know I really just had to draw back and recenter on Christ. It's looking like we're entering into the era of Myra K 2.0 <laughs> and I don't know what that's gonna look like but I'm so excited because I know that modesty is so much more than clothing and it's so much more than the outfits that you put together and being covered and what you put on from the outside, but more so the inside. And so as I'm going on in this walk, I know that as long as my heart posture, goodness, is in the right place or, you know, aligned with Christ, then he's going to continue to lead me through this. I know that I can say the Lord is proud of me and happy with how far I've come. We can be good and then we can be better. And so I'm striving to do better, especially since people watch me, people are inspired by me, and people are drawing inspiration from me. Really have to be careful. I know that it's necessary to give myself grace because I'm not Christ. At the end of the day, if I want Christ to be reflected through me, then I've got to represent the Christ being reflected through me well, you know? That was that. Um, the modesty conversation can honestly get so... I always say modesty is subjective, but there's a fine line that all of us know not to cross. And I don't even want to be in a space where I'm flirting with the line. Not that I wanted to flirt with the line before, but this year I want to be more conscious about not flirting with the line at all. If you're watching this and you are a girly in Christ or, you know, you're new in the faith and you're trying to figure out this modesty thing, give yourself grace and just allow the Lord to renew your heart posture, teach you new things, convict you if necessary, um, guide you and just encourage you. I know that there's a bigger discussion to be had about this topic and we could probably dive into that another time on my channel. If you guys want to hear more about modesty or talk about it more, feel free to comment down below. But I think that's all I wanted to share for now. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my mini rant and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!